Hi guys, this is another review. Uh, this time it's on a train set. I know I have done train set review for a while, um, but this is a kind of a special review. Uh, due to my channel, it's got the Great Western channel GWR, and it actually says. GW on the loco. So this just came through the post today. Um, I had to look on YouTube. There's no review on this. Um, apologise if you can hear the neighbours in the background. I can't deal with them. So they have an argument, as I think. Um, so if they are. Tough luck, I'm not going to be stopping and starting and stopping and starting, stopping and starting, and like that kind of things. Um, I'm just going to ignore them. So, if you hear any loud noises in the background, I'm just going to push on. So, uh, getting back to the train set, um, we get. It's called the Postal Express. Um, I know next month we're in November. Next month is December. Uh, if you're looking at this, it's going to be a Christmas present. Go ahead, it's a good idea um, for your child or the um, old son or whatever you call it. Uh, so what you get is a locomotive, a 040, means no wheels at the front, four driving wheels in the, the back. You get a loop track controller, and this is what it says if I pick up the camera. You could stop and read that. So basically, this is a unboxing of this, but before I get into the unboxing uh, part, um, let's quickly have a look at the back of the box. Right, use your Hornby track pack system. Like you can see there, and then you basically build it up until something's like that. And including you get the accessories, what comes in the accessories. So basically, let's let's get this set open Shall and we? or bag of good things. Uh, we'll get into this right now, shall we? It's the technical term. Um, by the way, uh, so that's that. So, what I'm going to be leaving in here is the track map um, because I'm not going to be using it. These instructions here um, it's the same as the Hornby. Um, Nightmare train set. Um, I'll put the link for the unboxing of the main coach for that um, in the railroad range. Um, part one and part two, part three as well. Um, basically, you'll see me and look at these instructions as well. So that's that. It shows you how to set up the mail operators. <coughs> Sorry about that. Just had a little bit of cough. Um, the maintenance sheet for the 040. Uh, do try best you can run the locomotive in. That's what it says, but don't bother most of the time. Um, quickly inside, it shows you how to remove the body, the body of the locomotives, and the rest of it. This is my first review on the 040. Steam locomotive, so that's that. 
um, the Hornby registration card. I do recommend people filling these in because um, you don't know what could go wrong with the set. And finally, the Onyals manual. Uh, just quickly show you it inside. That's one side of it. Shows you how to set up the controller and that side. And then finally, it shows you how to do the uncoupling, the buildings, all those kind of things. And basically, that's the back of the thing. So that's now the gump out the way. Technical term, of course. So let's get into what do we get in the set. I have to remind you. Um, I do have a male operation coach um, equipment set up already uh, to help with this review. So, yeah. Let's go on. Right. And down here, where you can see where my hand is, you've got the conductor. Uh, sorry, it doesn't turn into this prime or anything like that. Um, it's to lower the voltage so you don't kill yourself. Um, here's the controller. I'm not bothering to taking it out of the box um, because it's a nightmare for me to try and get it out. Um, I don't want to be that embarrassed on... Um, YouTube and then have comments saying to me, oh, could you try best you can to get it out, but uh, can't because of my condition. So I sort of that adapter. That's it. Right. Uh, next thing, this is very, very hard. Um, it's the points and the point corrector. I do recommend these. These are very, very good. Uh, so basically, yeah. So basically, you take that on, and it makes the thing go parallel again. And then at the top here, eight radius curves for radius curves. Really gentle, very nice. I do recommend them. Um, two long straights track, two short straights, and or power track. Um, that's very good. So let's have a look at the locomotive, shall we? So, if I just lean in, or just, I have to pick up the box, hold on, and use this to get, alright. Right, here she is. fine locomotive uh, basic um, not much detail on her um, come on she is moulded in the day but she's the basic 040 um, shunter you can try best you can to chip her to DCC fitted uh, so yeah so that's the main locomotive. So if we have a look in this corner now um, at the male apparatus, Lucia took out stuff. 
In there was some vacuum brake pipes, very good. Um, little, little bin and little stands, very good. And here is the ramps and mail bags and the other bits. Plus was in there was the buffer. So basically, finally, let's have a look at the last two bits. The coaches. Here's the and main coach itself. Um, you saw me looking at this previous one. Um, it looks like still the budget railway range, but this time says Western Night Mail. Um, basically, you take those clips there off, and then the coach will open the doors like that. Uh, details basic, um, like that. So, let's finally have the last look at the last wagon. Uh, it's the coach, the last coach. And then, now I'll put this on the track and see what she runs like. So, basically, do take care, focus, you don't want to be snapping things off. So, this is the um, other coach, what it comes with. Um, just basic, just moulded, not much weight to her. So that's that. So I'll get put this onto the track. I'll get back to you sooner as so I can. Alright guys, uh, we're back at the layout. Um so basically we've got the whole train on the track. Um the things what I was talking about. So basically how we get it to hook up, um it's just like that. Um, yes, I said I'll post up the links to my other video of the coach. Um, I have to warn you, um, I've done those reviews before I had the mobility problems. <laughs> and so, basically, you'll probably see it on the floor and those kind of things. Um, so... I did those reviews in 2013 um, before I had a, um, a go-kart crash and caused my mobility problem mm. and so from that that's why uh, basically th that was my first video of a trial video to see what can I do and could I improve on the video quality uh, but anyway it's there if you want to check out and the links will be coming up in the description boxes behind so back to now and then um, here's the train she is that's what you can hear that noise so we're using the old select we can use it on OO so control in the DC train as you can see <laughs> so let's get a go around the layout picking up the mail bags and let's see what she runs like I will try and get a close up shot of her as she is going around the corner and dropping off the mail bag. It's the first time she's run.
he runs like a dream. So, as I promised, so I get a So I wasn't going that fast to drop off the mailbag. So I'll just put it back on to so stand. I'll speed it up and just a tiny bit. So there she goes, as you can see. So let's get a see if we can get a close up there as she basically you have to put these things in the track. Um if you think it needs just a little bit more delay move up by another sleeper and then hopefully it works okay so as I've done that now um, and this time I'm putting that sleeper uh, thing in so hopefully now when she comes back around here she will drop a mailbag into this hut. Let's see. That must be a mailbag in. I'll put another hut on it. And there's the result. Right. Let's see if we can get two mailbags two in there there she is over there coming and this be the last one so hopefully you enjoyed this review please subscribe to my channel please click like and please leave your comments below thank you